Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electronics and today we're going to be replaying with Siemens Micro Master 420. Uh, everything going to be doing today or in the next couple of videos is going to be as well going for the Micro Master 420. So basically all the set that we're going to do in there are going to apply to all the Micro Masters. So uh, for this uh, particular video uh, unit and mo most of the Micro Master units, you will need a one of these, which is the what they call the basic operator pa uh, panel. Yeah, basic operator panel. There's another version of this, which is the advanced operator panel, but I don't think it brings that much of a benefit for um, anybody. Really, it's just it just gives a better, fancier way of understanding what the what thing what, what does he say and things like that. So uh, basic operator panel will, it will be absolutely fine for this one. This is the older generation of uh, drives. There's a new generation out there that is apparently a replacement for it, which is a quite a bit chunkier. And I think I've got one of these in there. They are called power modules, which are we are going to be uh, reviewing. In the upcoming videos, I'm gonna look at it, how they work, and how to set them up, and things like that. So uh, they will be coming up, but they'll be coming up. So, but for the next couple of videos, few videos, we'll be running this one. So the first one, as usual, we're gonna be looking at setting the drive up, getting all the motor data in, uh, auto tuning if there is one in, and running another drive in uh, uh, local mode. And in a second, again, three, two wire system. Uh, potentiometer and more parameters and the third one again multi frequency and electronic frequency controls and things like that some of the most basic most uh, not basic most used options uh, setups that I have noticed in the uh, industry people are using so hopefully you'll be able to benefit uh, by uh, watching and seeing how is that done so before we get ahead uh, in IGS electronics we are buyers and sellers of uh, industrial automations if you're looking for parts head to our website check us out see where see if you can find anything you need if you don't then text us a minute they give us a, give us a shout and we definitely can be help you out and also we buy electronics so if you've got stuff stock to sell anyway where else whenever you are in the world uh, ping us a message with what you got your name and things like that and we'll come back to you within 24 hours with some form or an offer so uh, let's get this bad boy set up <laughs> Okay, let's get this thing started. And first, we are all gonna look at all the terminals in the front of it. Obviously, I have taken off my little uh, uh, BOP, basic operator panel. So the first thing in here, in here, you can see these are the these are the analog inputs in here, uh, digital uh, inputs in here, and then you can choose between nil and uh, plus for whichever NPMP or NPM you're gonna use between eight and ten. I'll show later on which parameter you can change to select that. Digital outputs and this in here you have a uh, analog output and RS-485 in there on these points anyway. Rarely anybody uses this but just in case you do need analog output you can have that quite nicely as well what they did. They, when you put the screen on you can't even see those those bits in there so most likely not many people are using that. So on the phases obviously all three phases down here which is the V, W and U and uh, I, I have a single phaser in here so the line goes in the bottom neutral goes in the middle and if you use three phaser all three uh, cables will be l1 l2 and l3 so that is all the terminals in front of the drive next uh, let's have a look at the front keypad how the front keypad works and all functions let's power this thing up in there uh start stop button if you select the local control which i'll show you in a minute how that works jog is self-explanatory this one reverse uh and forward and reverse you can swap the directions if you want to if you want to control it from the front keypad fn if you go on a p where a p is when you enter your parameters go up and down and fn sort of sends you back to the r000 point when you select the p and sort of you come out of it so that's how you pretty much do it so if you are in uh, p it's only you want to come out of it you can click that bit and you're straight out of it and if you hold fn for longer time there you go it will select those uh, units so you can get uh, you can say it's, you sort of change the monitoring way you can do it so uh this is how you can monitor you can when it hurts i'm not sure what that is you can find your amps and then and, and, and volts obviously and you go back to it hold again and there we go it goes back to the, the normal screen where you can because uh, if you are in the other screen where you select what you want to monitor you can't enter parameters so just make sure that's the case 
and obviously up and down buttons and that's a self explanatory just to adjust up and down all the parameters so that's how the front keypad works next uh, let's do the factory reset and let's put this one back on so that one back on and to do factory reset is quite straightforward there's actually a couple of ways to do it and you can do it do it straight after the commissioning which i'll show in a minute or you can do it uh, the way i'm going to show it now which is the full factory reset without uh, uh, commissioning itself so to do that you go to uh, before you go that if you if you ever need more parameters because i am in level this is the where you adjust the levels in a p03 which is level one two and three the more levels you go the more parameters is going to be displaying for you so if you want more parameters and you find that something you need to change in level one or level two uh, or level three so you can change that in a p003 so that's having said that let's change uh, if you change the p10 to 30 and the next one jump up it is already you did that i say so i want you to do that as well so you change that to one by clicking a p bam it's just reset the whole drive so that's pretty much done so uh by clicking f and you go back to the drives now it's been fully reset next let's uh get the start mode uh, you can start editing all the motor data plate into the into the drive there's a couple of things i want to say there is a way of doing this you can you can when you when you some of the data like motor uh, co uh, coefficient like power factor thingy and uh, rpm and things like that cannot be changed unless you are in quick commissioning mode so be aware of that so uh, to do that obviously quick commissioning mode is going to be 10 and we need to select that to 1 so now that uh, once we did that it's sort of in the quick commissioning mode and so it's going to be displaying all the parameters that we need so make sure you do that as well so and uh, obviously the first one is P100 and P100 100 pretty much stands for uh, for what frequency you are in which uh, country frequency you're using when we are in UK which part of Europe we are 50 Hertz and that stands for zero in manual so we are sticking to that obviously one's going to be North American things like that there'll be 60 Hertz so the next one is going to be a 304 which is the most rated voltage 330 excellent next is uh, ampage and uh, my one is 1.9 Let's check that one, and next is a 3.7 kilowatt, which is great, which is, that's what the motor is. Next one is, it's going to, R. this is where we enter the R, our power factor, and my power factor is, I remember all this information is in your motor data plate, so you can get all that on there. So my power factor is, is 0.7, so uh, if you want to jump between the digits for one and another, so keep it, clicking FN and you can change the one digit you want to change so i'm going to change that to seven and uh, there we go so the next one we're going to do the uh, 50 hertz which is the motor only what it's running now the next one is going to be a uh, R, uh, rpm which is uh, 1380 so we can uh, change that to 1380 and and after that is a p700 where you select where you're going to be uh, uh running your uh controls from today we are running from uh, uh from front front keypad so we're going to be selecting i think believe that is um what is my source and oh yeah i believe that the bop is going to stand for one so let's change that one so we're going to be operating from the bop basic operator panel so we're doing that and the next one is 1000 where you're going to be controlling your frequency from again we're going to change that to one which is from the control panel and there after that it's uh you can select your minimum frequency max maximum frequency which is going to be 80 i'm happy with zero maximum i'm happy with 50 and after that it's going to be a ramp up time ramp up down which is acceleration deacceleration i'll change that to lower because i just like it like that just for a test so we don't have to wait till the motor going up Ooh, let's change to roughly that i'll do and uh so we're going to do that as well acceleration time now that'll do it the next one is 390 pretty much is 390 is where you pretty much end your uh, quick commissioning and this is where if there's any other parameters in there it will it will keep all the set the data what you already did it uh, from the motor but it will wipe out every, all the other sort of sort of like a partial factory reset or, or whichever you call it so we're going to need to change that one to one to pretty much finish up all the 
old uh, quick commission. Here we go. He's done doing his business. Come on. And it's done. So, uh, share that one. And now all the data has been entered. And drive is pretty much, as you can see, is already showing the thing, uh, thingy down there. Pretty much drive is ready to go. And there's another thing you can do is we're quickly going to select the motor data identification to so make sure that everything we entered is, is satisfactory for the system. We were going to go to parameter. Uh, oh, we need to change that one to level two. So uh, let's change that to uh, level two. We're going to go for parameter one, nine, ten. And this is what I said when you, when you change your levels. So many other parameters open up. He just, he just going. Oh, we overshot that. Oh, nine. Uh, what do I need there? One nine ten. P, and we're going to change that one to one. Press OK. Leave. As you can see, it's showing up the error down here. We just click that one. Is the error still going to pop up? Here we go. And then we click start. Oh. He's not happy because I haven't reset my my system. Let's try it again. Yeah, here we go. Come on, remove that error. Yeah, because he didn't see the he didn't see the motor because my system in here just contacted and he hasn't been reset. It's part of my reset system, and uh, it won't will not be working. Let me let me fix that up, and now we can continue from that. To remove that error, I need to reset the drive. So let's try it again. So let's go back to, don't have to do that, but I always like to do that, sort of double checks everything for me. Make sure everything is happy, that baby data. Oh, what was our shooter? P, change to one, P, and FN, back home. And there we go, he's doing his checking, so I sort of have to wait till he, there we go. If everything went well, all the error will disappear and pretty much it is happy and ready to go. The only thing is left to do now is let's turn the camera a little bit and pretty much run the drive. So uh, let's start. So it's, 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 it's one low, it won't go before five, below five frequency. Is it go before five frequency? Yeah, it does actually, this one does. So there we go. And that's pretty much, you use the frequency changes by, by front keypad. And you start stop with uh, with the front keypad. By the looks of it, it does not save the frequency. Probably there's a setting you can change in a drive that you would. Whereas look at that, 30, 34 frequency, and if I stop and start, it goes back to five. So uh, yeah, it doesn't does not save the frequency. So for that, we need to look at the manual. I'll see if I can uh, look into it. If I have enough time in the next video, so uh, we'll be able to check out if that's uh, but if that's bothering you. Then uh, we can all, uh, you can always find some. Uh, pretty sure there's a way you can. It doesn't reset it. So and that will be it for the first video for the MicroMaster. Hope that is assisting you in uh, any way. And uh, the next one we're going to be looking at how to run the drive in a, in a remote mode. We're going to be using two three wire mode and potentiometer. So uh, if you like the video, please like the video, comment below. If you didn't like the video, dislike the video, comment below again. Anyway, and. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next video.